Hey guys, kembali lagi di podcast DJ, podcast yang orang-orang di Dota di Indonesia. Game yang kata komunitas pesimis di Indonesia udah mati, tapi padahal masih ramai-ramai aja sih sebenarnya. Dan bahkan Indonesia sendiri udah punya wakilnya di dunia internasional di dua tahun terakhir, baik tim maupun organisasi. Daripada lama-lama dengerin intro, mendingan kita langsung ketemu aja sama bintang tamu kita di episode kali ini. Hello everyone, welcome back again to Channel Papa Digit And this episode starting with a theme that you guys really wants to be invited again to my podcast Since day one of the DPC's um, Division 1 start And yeah, unfortunately the bad result is uh, come out for this team So please welcome Alfon from Boom Esport Hello Alfon, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm doing good uh, Just got back home and yeah okay okay so yeah this is quite new for me because not not because you are new to, to coming to my podcast because it's already uh, two times and this is the third time i believe and then um but what is makes me say that this is kind of new for me it's because <clears throat> the the vibes of this podcast is not gonna be happy be like like the previous episode right oh, no, 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 no. it's gonna be happy it's gonna all be right happy. then okay I, I'm, i'm happy if you're happy i mean like um <laughs> yeah but um yeah let's start let's start with with something that just happens last week i mean like the the result of the boom esport before mm-hmm. we start our uh, talking about uh something that maybe i want to know a little bit about the the story uh and everything about boom esport but let's start with the result is it hard to swallow for uh, until now until until this podcast uh recorded Well, it was hard to swallow it. The you know, uh, being drafted to Division Two, but uh, we already swall. Uh, you know, it's done. Like, how do you say it? Uh, we're moving on. Like, maybe a couple first couple of days, it was, it was hard, but like, uh, but it was ease out. Like, because right from the start, before uh, after the team was formed last year. I mean, by the end of the year, we already uh, talk about being uh, like uh, looking out further. You know, uh, what's on further to TI, right? Because that's been ultimately the goal, like every other team. And if it takes us, like, if we lose some, then good. Uh, then good, we learn. Then we win some, great. You know, and I think everyone has been you know, like the long journey. But of course, dropping to Division Two was not part of exactly part of the plan of this long journey, and but it is what it is. We accept results. Uh, that's what matters most. We accept results and try to improve from it. And yeah, we will we'll be like uh, moving on from there. Okay, so yeah, it is what it is. You drop to the uh, Division Two, and. Yeah, let's uh let's move forward or maybe uh back forward first to the starting of the division uh one uh day one or maybe before the day one uh you guys uh mm-hmm. planning to to re- recreate the team based on two core that you have to play around that two cores which is uh Yopach and also FBZ the one uh the uh, the two players that staying for Boom Esports and then you lose three players which is uh Tim's uh scam and also uh the carry um Jackie, Jackie. yeah Jackie yeah. I mean is the is is losing that three players I mean like you guys are already playing together as a, as a as a solid team uh no one can almost no one can beat you in Southeast Asia in terms of uh long run tournament not just a one yeah. uh, single uh, best of one or something but my question is Is that part of the rebuilding, or you just lose on the toe to toe to negotiate with the 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 team that uh uh take uh your 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 player uh on the on the on the transfer window uh before the division uh one start, Alfon? I see. Me like, <clears throat> I think the I think this is the question that everyone wants to know. Like, did we like uh, kick or whatever? Uh, I think that's the question when everybody people is asking, and I think, um, as you know, 
people always misinterpret when like uh, per, a player leaves the team all oh, his kick uh something like that so but if you notice uh all f- four of them um tweeted they were open for opportunities they were looking for other offers so basically there uh there might be some that we probably have not considered but of course before uh everyone like we are like let them like go go for uh look for opportunities it's like of course we have evaluated um the like staying as one of course for personally for me i would have loved to like stay together for another more year but it's always it's in even it's not even up to like <clears throat> say um you know uh gary uh, as our ceo it's not even up to gary i mean of course we we would love to run it back but of course uh play we give the players their options like uh yeah if you want to go play for uh other teams you want to explore their opportunities then that's it if, it, if that is motive then okay we will try to like retain you know of course we have we also export um other like brought other players of course it's a normal one it's a normal what they call it, scenario for every team after ti so like yeah, I mean you saw like yo Pudge, uh he even tweeted like he was looking out he was looking for a team right and eventually he uh, he stayed with us something like that so if you guess if they were looking then if we haven't been able to like let them stay uh then we of course for us the team we have to move forward because there's there's a deadline there's a roster deadline so we think of what's the best so what the current uh the current player uh the available players so it just move on from there then others like oh actually we're gonna oh i found a team I'm gonna go here, something like that, and yeah. But of course, initially we wanted to do uh, another year, but okay. it doesn't go as like what we we just we want at the first place. Okay, okay, that's unfortunately because yeah, if 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 you ask me as a, as a fan, as a, as a, your friends or maybe or whatever you you want me to address this, uh, I like to to see Boom as a, as a, as the the same. Uh, roster uh, to play on the DPC on the winter 2022 mm-hmm. until 2023 until the TI that's that's what I want to uh, I want to see and I want to uh, show you guys to play together again but again uh, all the changes uh, makes me uh, yeah I mean like a uh, surprise uh, I also realized that everybody always uh, takes the better offer right yeah yeah and 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 you guys take the best uh, the best option that you have on the Windows transfer. You take yeah. uh, Safer. You take the one that uh, makes ev- uh, all the people in Southeast Asia supporting him, Exnova. And then you take uh, Natsumi as a, as a, um, the last piece of the uh, new roster of the Boom Esport in the in the DPC on the winter. Um, so yeah. my my question is. Is is they are the first option on the table back then with you, Oja, and Gary, and everything that involved even even our coach. Uh, I mean, like your coach, Mushi, to uh, uh, to hey guys, I want Kenny. If if we lose teams, we uh we we take Kenny, or maybe if we lose Scam, we take Esnova. Is that something like that, or there's another story? Uh, before you guys uh. Uh, pick the 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 replace uh for the one that yeah. uh leave. Yeah, definitely. There's, I cannot say like, like he's the one. You know, like I said, like he's the only one option. Because when we just to give an insight, uh, when we draw when, because mostly when after they draw up like names, you know, because like. Oh, these are the names like available or something, or these are the names that could probably fit as well. And I think there were probably not a single out name except for I think um Exnova. Because when when they when the players were looking for opportunities, then Exnova heard like Exnova was uh also out of RNG. So I think from day one, I think from then they we tried to um 
uh, talk to him. But of course, this optional one, that like that's what I would like to explain is like, it's not even always the option one. We always had like another, like it's like just all even out because we cannot like, oh, just keep waiting for this one guy, you know? So of course, it's a lot. Uh, so basically, it's just like, also finding the right fit. Uh, the culture we're trying to uh, develop, the team we're uh, trying to develop, and what Mushi and the rest of the manager set out to do. Uh, so we tried to look for players who would fit us the most, not just in mechanical skill or not just in name, but probably in the culture we try to build because as, as I've previously mentioned, that this team is set out for the long journey for the whole year. For the TI, whatever it comes, even Division 2, you know, sticking. And yeah, I think from okay. others, uh, yeah, I think we decided to like, it's not really priority. There were, there were even some like rumors of, like uh, other regions, right? <laughs> like or, or rumors of other regions. Of course, we have exported possibility that that's what I would confirm, but I want to drop names because uh, you know it's over. Uh, it, it's useless if I drop the names right now. But and also it's just like, like really, kind of out of reach. Like they had, they don't want to come to Southeast Asia or something, or like you have other plans already, something like that. And, okay. Yep. okay, okay, because uh. It- like you said, and you mentioned, uh, you you you're trying to stick together. Is this it is something a clue that uh, there's nothing changed for for Boom Esport after the Lima Major and then going to the uh, second division on the next season? Is that is that a clue uh, uh, from you that you guys gonna stick together or I don't know uh, maybe there's a uh, something changed in terms of uh, the players or maybe the um, the staff or 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 something? Yeah. Currently, we have no. Uh, we're not going to make any changes. That's for sure. Okay. Okay. So, so this team built for the long journey, not just only uh, for a season base. I mean, like if you fail or win on the on the first season on the DPC this year, um, you're gonna get uh, get uh, replaced or maybe uh, the team will be changed uh, regarding whatever the result is. So this team built for the long journey for one season uh, of overall DPC, starting with the uh, DPC season one. Um, until the TI uh, result, is that is that correct? Yeah, that's what uh, you know the management and the team has set out to do. So we'll try okay. to accomplish that one. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So 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 let's talk a little bit about the result. Uh, starting from the first three, or maybe let me see. First one, two, three, four. Your first four game is uh Hard pill to swallow, losing streak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How how the it team, is. how the team respond or maybe react on that? I mean, like, uh, if I if I if I if I am FBZ or Yo Patch, I will, uh, maybe something like feel this is not us. I mean, like, you know, I'm I'm always uh having a good result in the DPC. Uh, last season, uh, your patch FBZ always playing good, always makes team wins. But this time, four losing streak comes to the front door of the Boom Esport. Hey, bro, this is your L for this match. This is your L. How's the team react? The players, the coach, and even the uh, maybe from your perspective uh, as as a team manager, Alphonse. Back to you. Yeah. So, of course, like every after loss, um, there were there were quite. I think the overall like this this tour this tour one is I can summarize and like maybe our losses made us frustrated. I mean, of course, it wouldn't be right. Uh, but it's not about like too much pressure because uh, of course I think there's a pressure always. There's there's always pressure. So, but I think these losses um kind of frustrated us because. As you can see from all of these games, like literally 90% laning stage to early game, we're winning. <laughs> like we're the only problem we had is like late game or mid game, and we cannot finish the game, you know, properly. Like we're leading 5k, we're getting like double digit lead on kills, like every single game. And by the you know, minute minute 20 hits in, like 
so suddenly like crusaders you know probably changing in their blood i don't know crusaders archons uh you know they forgot how to play but yeah, i think every night like every after Every after this, every after the series, because we have, we always have a long talk. We all they always had a long replay discussion session, and I think it's very they're really tired. But of course, uh, this it's what they need, and definitely what they set out to do. Of course, they want to fix the problem, but like I say, like some teams might be able to fix the problem right away. Some uh, some teams might take a couple of a couple of weeks. Some some teams might. After the after the tour, um, but I think for us we saw the improvement day by day, week by week. We, we were able to win a couple against the last few weeks, and yeah, I think we just tried to be uh improve every, every single day. Just uh, that's what we set out for when we had a zero four loss, and yeah, it, so definitely like it's uncharted territory probably like for most of the players like uh yeah they've been winning the most of their like career uh, ex nova yopa jvz and for me if personally it's like uh of course uh, you're thinking like if you're the manager you're thinking like how could i help them like um but when you look at uh, uh you look at this like objectively it's like uh It's more like an in-game stuff, and as a manager, I'm not qualified for any in-game stuff. You know, like trying to help them outside of the game, like uh, yeah. so like, little, little things, like so, and and to be honest, they know that what they know what's the problem is. So like, even if you know what's the problem, it's like how you how do you how do you keep it stable? How do you uh maintain it every day? I think and and how we take how we take it and um. ingrain it into their you know um memory or like i don't know reflexes or like their knowledge so it's basically that um uh, and we just told them like this problem we need to have like a sense of urgency of course but never rush things because rush things are never right are never like you know gonna be good so here we are and i think They're accepting. They're very much accepting all the results right now, and of course, they're probably angry at themselves the first couple few days. And uh, I think uh, they're raring to go. They they probably even want to start the division two right now, tour two, you know. But we have to wait until April. <laughs> so yes, you guys, you guys need to wait break. until April. Yes, yeah. Um, because yeah. because the, the the schedule is kind of different with the uh, last mm-hmm. year, yeah. Uh, because you have a break after. Uh, the division one uh, finish. Uh, continue with the second division, and then the major, and then you start again with the division one, and then division two. Because you guys will be playing on the division two. You will be, in, yeah, will li- have a little bit longer, uh, break uh, time to to your team. And uh, by the way, because after that four loses, Alphonse, you get the two consecutive win. That means that you guys finally able to, um, let's say, solve the problem. After that four mm-hmm. losses, but on the last decision games, you guys fell off short to not able to at least have a one more game to do or maybe one or maybe two or maybe three. I don't know. Uh, the tiebreaker, you guys yep. lost on the last match. Um, I don't remember uh, which team that uh, beat blacklist. The, blacklist, yeah, blacklist. Yeah. Um, and I saw the the clip from the Boom Esport. Uh, fan page that you guys really, really, I don't know what kind of word that uh, correct to to express it, but you guys really like, uh, oh my god, is this really happening? Like all the teams, Ojan trying to, um, yeah, make the player still okay. Let's go, guys. It's okay. Uh, we still have the second division. We're not out from the DPC. We're not gonna compete from the uh, open qualifier. We still have a second division to. Um, Yeah, makes uh, makes you guys bounce back to the uh, upper division. My question is to you: What is really happened on the last game? I mean, uh, I know you're not uh, uh, capable to to talk about the in-game stuff, but is there any pressure that makes the player to, oh my god, this is now or never, guys? It's like uh, if we not win this game, 
we're we're out from the first division we're going to the second division <laughs> or something what you can tell uh, or maybe tell us the story uh, about the last game of uh, boom esport against uh, blacklist that day i think it's probably like uh 50-50 like okay. 50 like uh, half of it was like probably the pressure of dropping to division 2 but uh we some i mean of course the that thinking will always like be in the back of your head in the back of their heads mm-hmm. of course and but we always when we went zero four we always like set out like no matter what if we go to division two uh if we if we lose one more game uh, if we go zero seven like what we want to do is try to improve every single day we want to win uh if we lose then if we play our best then we lose um okay. then it just means like the other team is the better team uh but one thing we don't want to do is like to play not to lose you know you know what i mean like yeah just playing not to lose and i think to be honest that week we we're pretty doing good even in our scrims but i can't tell you specifically uh, <laughs> And I think during the blacklist game, when you saw like we're pretty composed, the game one, and suddenly game two and game three, yeah, oh, uh, we kind of like kind of okay, but it's not enough. Or probably we didn't play in our game because when you have this like thing, uh, you're oh shit, if we lose the game, like we're dropping the division two, so. Yeah, The pressure I mean, will be always there, yeah, because on your pressure will be always there. Mm-hmm. But I don't think they were thinking about it. But there will always be this unconscious thing, okay. and that unconscious thing we we can try to like, for me on my on, on my end or even Mushi's and coaches and or uh, like the management's end, we can always try to like cultivate this um, like before. And after, the game. You can always try to like help them, you know, uh, forget about it or like, try to call it, try to control it. Because mm-hmm. that's one of like uh, what we're trying to do, control, you know, this pressure, these emotions. Because there's always be there, so we're trying to avoid it. We must accept it first and try to control it. Because that's what we were trying to do. But during the game, even if like how many times like we tell them how many times we practice, how many times like you know try some exercises or like cool uh this stuff. Will always be unconsciously in their heads, so I'm not sure. Like, does this pressure like made them lose the game? Okay, but probably that's why I can always say like fifty fifty. Uh, we cannot always like I can't I can't say like this is what it is because if they say like they're not, but unconsciously they are. Mm-hmm. So I will not say that no, you don't know you're pressured. I will not say that because that's what that's their knowledge. What yes. we what for me what what well, I should do is like try to help them overcome it more, um and also also with Moshi uh, as the coach and uh, every other else in the management also all John's because I think what this is what people think about like you need to not think about the pressure you cannot think not think about the pressure okay it will always be there. So okay. what matters the most is like you control it, and I think maybe that thing or another thing got the better of us during the blacklist game, two and three. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we, so pretty much it. And after it, I mean, of course, I wouldn't be sad. <laughs> like after losing that game and going to division two, I think everyone was like dumbfounded. You know, like they, they don't know what to do. And for me, like it's pretty acceptable state. You know, as a state of mind or the state of a person because it's a competition but i think we're pretty like we're able to like you know um relax now or like able to accept it right now we're in a pretty good condition like we're just going to back you know back in business soon and hope you guys uh we can perform better than the previous tour i mean i mean because We 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 really want to uh see or maybe yeah uh yeah see Boom Esport play as a, as a Boom Esport as a as an organization that uh playing on the high level. I mean I'm I'm not trying to discredit you that playing on the second division is not a high level, but you're not supposed to be there. Based on the statistic, yeah. based on the players' name that you're own right now, uh under your 
uh, organization, you're not supposed to be playing on the second division. But again, I cannot say this, but it is what it is. You guys playing on the second division, you have to crawl again from the from the scratch from the second division. Last year, you guys get saved by the organ uh, by the. Uh, yeah, yeah, that by, by, by something, by, by small thing that makes you guys keep on the on the second I, uh, on the first uh, division. Actually, I was joking about it with Gary. <laughs> um, like, boss, probably this is like, probably is like the real boom time timeline now. Like, we're playing Division Two. We're not supposed to play Division Two last year, so probably this is it. <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, <laughs> just to make things, you know, like just to make things nice, like. Uh, you were talking about the long journey. Oh, oh, probably this is the long journey we're talking about. So, okay. <laughs> so we're just trying to make things light for everyone, you know. All right, and All right. that's yeah. great. That's great because I know it's it's hard as as a team manager that um maybe not not even a one percent that have a capability to talk about. Hey guys, you're doing uh you're doing this wrong on the wrong way. I mean, like something like you know what I mean, right? You you, you just can't help them in terms of the emotion the uh the way you put uh together uh all the five hat uh, player a big name all over the southeast asia to play together to maintain their emotion their ego that's your duty and then all the in-game stuff it's a mushy time to shine and my question to to uh, before we uh are heading to the to the closing stage of this podcast are you guys feels like um losing some kind of in-game leader uh on the on the last uh, on the on the season that just mm-hmm. end because all the this is not just only my perspective or my opinion because i already speak with uh spoke with uh, sorry spoke with uh, multiple caster analysts uh, ex player pro player or maybe player that uh still not playing on the uh, first division because they are uh, obviously playing on the second division that uh, still not playing they saw boom is something like a wolf that doesn't have the 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 male alpha because you lose scam or maybe teams i don't know who's leading on the on the previous uh five players and then right now you have a new players and then you guys looks like a wolf that don't know where to go and that's why you you also come out with the with the uh word that we cannot close the game we cannot uh maintain our uh maintain our uh, lead after a 20 minute games something like that is that is that something that happens uh on boom esport regarding all the result Alphonse? um i think people are saying that probably because yeah about the late game but to be honest last year it's not about uh, having like a specific in game leader okay. it's not about having the captain, like to be honest, uh, last year people think it was scam or teams or scam. Mm-hmm. Uh, but to be honest, we didn't really like uh, emphasize on like captain role because oh. we do have a captain. Like, of course, it's a it's, it's Nova, right? Mm-hmm. Captain, but we we don't like emphasize the captain role like what other people emphasize it like. The, the sole shot caller or the one who decides everything, you know? Because mm-hmm. even in pre- in the previous year, we didn't do that. Everyone was shot calling. Every, but there, there were always like dominant people who will be like, like you say, scam teams. Because in terms of the game, what I've learned from, you know, being on the, being on behind the scenes with this, with this <laughs> team, right? Because in every stage of the game, in every scenario, this is not always a man, one man calling. It's not always the captain calling. It's always the person. It's always you always had to react to the person calling the best idea. Someone has to like has the better idea, then you go for it. Like, like, like late game, the one the strongest player in the late game is the carrier, right? Correct. So he has he has to have the ability to estimate like can we fight this can i fight this can i can i do this can we do this so later in the stage of the game there may be because of course from the captain or the support or whatever, whoever supports like but in, of course those who, who can fight is a carry mm-hmm. so mainly the carry has to shout to like i want to fight guys we need to go back i cannot fight this one ah uh, okay so what i'm trying to say is 
we don't like lack an in game radar captain we lack a, like good ideas and bringing in them in one picture one better picture for the team to follow you know it's not like it's like saying follow me it's not it's not like that follow me yeah there yeah and then what to do right follow me <laughs> follow you blindly like what so it's more about the game it's more about like the idea of each player it's the knowledge of the game that we're uh, trying to you know uh overcome uh what else would like to say and i think uh everyone that's that's what we're trying to develop because we don't want players to like to to, to depend on one person you know okay. you know what i mean like like everyone's okay. like hey captain uh what are you gonna do what are you gonna do in game what are you gonna do now because when you have like these five brains working in game like there's infinite possibilities or infinite ideas that you can do and one one of them could be like just a better idea at all like then you know how to win the game and okay. i think that's pretty much it but you know what i've learned from watching behind yeah. behind uh, the team and okay. i think we're trying to uh solve that um we're trying to empower like each every one of the game like say early game supports definitely supports have to be like the one doing okay. the work right Okay. okay. Mid game, you play with the supports, the offlane, and the mid. Late game, definitely the carry has to do his own stuff. Like this is basically like everyone has their own responsibility. All right. Okay. So, what is the schedule of the player or maybe the teams right now? Is it uh, off season? They uh, break time, uh, like you said, you, you are uh, back to your home. Uh, to your home. Uh, yeah. Are the players too? Yeah, uh, so we're taking a break uh, mm -hmm. for a few days. Actually, just for a few days because I think if you guys saw, we're playing the BTS, BTS. Pro Series. Uh, yes. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So we're going to scream back probably next week or by at the end of the week. We're going to start screaming back. Of course, uh, we don't take this tournament lightly. Like, we're just going to enter the BTS tournament like, I just came from a break, whatever, whatever result. We're just... We will treat this every tournament and even division two like how we treat TI. That's wow. what we're supposed to. We're, we're, we're that's what we're supposed out to do like, like yep. practice like practice like you're competing and compete like you like you're practicing something like that. Yep. So we need to set out like everything perfect. I mean like not perfect but like you know full give our hundred percent. All right, that's good mentality. I mean like that's a mentality of the winner, the champions. That's the motto of Bumi Sport, right? Like. Where is the champions made? That's what that's what Bumi Sport mm -hmm. is. So, I hope you guys get uh, all the needs that you need to to bounce back as a, as a real Bumi Sport, as a team, as a collective, uh, yeah, collectively as a team, as an organization, as a, yeah, as a, as an individual. I don't know, um, but best of luck on that on that re uh, restructuring what is happening. In, not in mm -hmm. terms of the changing the players, Foster. but. Yeah, uh, restoring all uh, what what is missing in in Bumi Sport last season, but um, hopefully you guys uh, back to the first division. I mean, um, yeah, I think uh, that's it uh, for our podcast. Alphonse, again, thank you so much for 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 accepting this invitation because I cannot maintain my DMs anymore, Alphonse. Like I said in the first in the first sentence on my <laughs> chat to you, I cannot maintain it again. I I need to I need to someone to talk right now from Boomy Sports. Yeah. So thank you so much, uh, Alphonse. And... Yeah, get Gary. Yeah, get Gary. Gary, Gary will talk Gary. after this. But Gary, uh, Gary's still on a Bangkok, right? I don't know. He's holiday or. Uh, still oh yeah, yeah, he went on yeah, he went on holiday. Yeah, I think everyone went on a holiday. Yeah, I think after <laughs> after this after this performance, I think okay. everyone's holiday. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Totally understand. Uh, lose or win, you guys, you guys deserve a break to to refresh your mind, reset your mindset, and everything because. Um, yeah, it's everything about about the the, the result uh, at at the end of the of the season of this international on the 2023. And okay, uh, I think thank you again, Alphonse. Uh, last word for the Boom Esport fans on the second division later on. Um, I think I just want to say to everyone, like, uh, to be honest, I think Mushi uh, is really like, is still happy. Like even if we drop the division two, I'm happy we dropped the division two. The players are doing well. Uh, they have been accepting well, I guess, first and foremost. Because I think it's really good to like when you're when you're down, you know, like there's nothing to lose. It's like really easy to to do something when you've got nothing to lose, you know. So I think 
that's what I want to say to the fans. Like just, uh, I think just sit back. You know, uh, we're not we're not just memeing around, <laughs> and to the division two, um, we're gonna come we're gonna come and get you. Okay, okay, that's the spirit. I like it. Okay, that's that's that that's the thing that I want to uh, that I'm waiting from you at the end of this podcast. You always come up with a, <laughs> with the sentence or something. <laughs> okay, Alphonse, thank this you once time, again. This time, I was saying we're going to TI <laughs> <laughs> because it's still a long we're journey. We're just gonna come and get you. Yeah, yeah okay, come and get you. Okay, then. Okay, thank you so much, Alphonse. Bye bye, and see you next time. Have a holiday. Yeah, uh, have a great you. holiday. Bye bye.